Well, hello, all my lovely beauts and beauties out there. I'm coming to you today, and we are departing, departing, and we are departing. What are we departing, Lizzie? What are we departing, eyeshadow? What are we departing, um, pigments? Okay. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. I'm showing you my depotting method. And um, if you wanna catch it, then it's coming up right after this. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Well, hi everybody. I am coming to you today with a video that um, I'm just really showing my technique on how I depot my lipsticks, um, eyeshadows, things like that. And this video came about because I was having a discussion with some of the ladies in um, one of the chat rooms or the groups on Facebook, MUA Networking. Hi, ladies. And we were talking about depotting, and some ladies have never done it before. Some ladies haven't tried it before, and we all have our own different methods and, and styles that we like to use. And I just wanted to show what I use and how I do it. So um, let's get started. So first things first, um, let me show you the containers that I use. Now, the containers that I use look like this. They sell this right at Michael's. Don't quote me on this, but I believe it was either $6.99, $8.99, somewhere in there, but you won't pay more than $10. And let me open it up. And on the inside, you have one, two, three, four, five, six rows. And you have five capsules on each row. Okay, so you have one, two, three, four, and five separate compartments in each capsule. And what I love about these is that it allows me to be able to pack more product and take it with me in my kit because can you imagine, let me see, let me grab a lipstick over here. So this is, look at that, That's that takes up over, what, three capsules worth with one tube of lipstick. So I actually have five lipsticks, one lipstick, you know? So imagine trying to carry all, carry 30 of these with you. And that's what I have right here in this case, I have 30. Okay, and the really great thing about this case and, and this method is because it's not something that, that can just be done by makeup artists, although it's really great for us and it'll really help us, but it can also be done for travel. You know, some of you ladies out there would love to try this just to take with you on a trip because you don't want to carry so many different lipsticks and so forth in your purse. Even if you didn't carry the entire compartment, you can make a custom cube of what lipsticks you think you may want to wear on your trip. You may even be able to pack your entire makeup look in this in one of these little capsules. This may be your eyeshadow. This may be your blush. This may be your lipstick. This may be able to hold your eyeliner. You know, you can do so many things with these. Not to mention they're interchangeable. So just because it's in this set right here, it doesn't mean that you can't they have to stay that way. I switch them up all the time because of new products that I get I, I interchange them uh, I, I like to kind of color coordinate my things so you know so for like my lipsticks and stuff this tube right here it has a lot of my pinks and my purples in there so if you see that it goes like light pink and then like all the way down to a deep purple you know so I like to color coordinate them and so forth so on now one of the ladies on uh, inside the network um, 
said that she had deposited some of her lipsticks and she used one that was round and circular, kind of looked like a diaphragm. Wait, did I say diaphragm? I think I meant diagram. <laughs> I think I meant to say diagram. <laughs> And um, what she said that she did is she took the labels from the lipsticks and put those onto the cases. And I commented, I commented and stated that sometimes those labels don't always fit. And in this particular case, they don't because I actually tried that. So like with this lipstick right here, let's see if you can see it. With this lipstick right here, I think you can see that. And that says show orchid. Or what is wrong with me? That says show orchid. I know what's wrong with me. It's 11 o'clock at night. And I don't know why I get this burst of energy to record my videos at night. I have to stop doing it because I get so tongue tied. This is show orchid by Mac. And um, as you can see, what I tried to do was to go ahead. So like, what did I do with that other lipstick I had? So this is the label, they look like this. So what I did was after I took all of the lipstick out and put it in my tube so that I could remember the name of it, I took the label off of here and put it on here. But it wasn't conducive to being able to do it for all of these. It wouldn't, first of all, it wouldn't fit along the round sides like this. Um, it wouldn't fit on the sides not to mention it's not the easiest thing in getting these labels off the bottom like this right here so I just had it decided to take it a step further and I went back to Michael's invested a couple of dollars and I bought this baby right here okay and this is a a brother P touch extra electronic labeling system okay and I got this bad boy right here and basically what is point blank period you type in the name of whatever it is hit this nice little print button and it comes right out here on the side you take this little lever right here snip it off and there you go voila you got your label so as you can see, I did that for all of these right here. So that's what the label looked like when it came off of the lipstick. And if you look around here and you see these edges and so forth, they're, you know, kind of ragged and so forth. But with this way, it's nice, it's clean, it's organized, it says exactly what it is. The only thing that I didn't do in this, on top of this one that I do with a lot of my other ones, and put that is put that this is a MAC cube. Um, some of my other cubes I have, like this one, I'll show you. This one says M-U-F-E for Makeup Forever. So I know that all of the lipsticks in here all come from Makeup Forever. You know, they have the names on here, but I know that that's the uh, actual brand that they come from. And the only reason why I didn't do that on this one is because that particular case, they're all MAC lipsticks, so I didn't need to worry about that. But um, I'll give you, you know, a quick demonstration. It's pretty self-explanatory, um, and it's pretty quick and easy to do. And um, I'll show you how I do it. So I'll just grab another tube right here and I'll grab an a empty one. This is one of the empty ones. So there's absolutely nothing in here. And what I'll do is, is I'll grab a lipstick. And let's see, because I have these in here that I, I need to depot. I don't know if you can see in there, but I need to depot all of those. Those are a couple of new goodies that I got. Um, and I can just grab any one of them. I'm looking to see if there's any one that I want to depot any more than the other. just fine okay and what I'm going to do is take open the lipstick up and so 
here's my lipstick. Now, let me tell you something about this method. What I love about this method is because if you see one tube of lipstick, this is all this product is what you get in that tube. Not to mention, there's still so much product down in here inside the tube. So, what I like to do is, and I'm looking for my file to be able to cut it. I don't know where it is. I'll just use this. Okay. I'm going to use this. This is a fingernail file. Okay. And it's extra, extra clean because I washed it and I dipped it in alcohol. And this is after I got it today from the dollar store. So, what I'm going to do is, here's all this lipstick. What I like to do with a brand new fresh tube of lipstick is I simply do it one or two ways. You can either cut it in half, like right here, directly in the middle, or you can cut a little bit further and further down, and I'll tell you why. Because there's more products down in here. So uh, today what I'll do is, is I'll go ahead and open up a tube. I'm going to take the lipstick and it's a little hard to do. So I'll do it like this. Matter of fact, what I'll do is just stick it in there. There, so we can, so you guys can see. And I will simply cut the lipstick in half. And voila, it's done. But I still have all of this lipstick. Why did I leave this lipstick? Because I left it for one or two reasons. There's certain people who don't want to get rid of their pretty little cute little MAC tubes. And I'm with you. Especially, now I'll put it this way. Now these I can get rid of a little bit easier than my limited edition ones. You know, the limited edition ones are all pretty and glamped up and have designs all on them. And you know, so those, those are a little bit harder to part ways with. So you can either... This can be for your kit that you use on your clients. And this right here, you can save for yourself and use it and it be your own personal lipstick. Or you can also um, do it this way. So I just deposited, I mean, took this one, stuck it in this one, and I just ripped the top off and I'll show you why. Because what you can also do is take the rest of this lipstick and put this in here. Put this put this lipstick into the second half of the lipstick into this tube and I'll show you why. Now, there we go. So I just took that out. But if you look at this tube, that's still lipstick all in there, honey. That's a lot of product. We don't let that go to waste. And all you simply need to do is go stick your file in there or whatever you like to use, stick it in there just like that and go around in one nice big circle. Look at that coming out. Look at all of that coming out. You see that? All of that is lipstick, babe. Can't waste that. Can't waste that. Can't lose it. Okay? So you just want to keep continue to do that until you get all of your product out. Look at that. It's still coming out. Until you get all Look at all of that lipstick. That's that Look at that. Look at that. Look at all that product. That was that's still left in the tube. You know? Just because it's down to the bottom doesn't mean that it's over. And if you look in there, there's still more lipstick in there. Okay. So I can finish uh and look at all of this. Look, see why I said you can and that looks and that's more than what I put in the look at that. That's more than what I put in this this first one, cutting it in half. Look at that. So, um, I'll finish cutting that out later. But, I cut that out to show you a couple of things. Um, a lot of times I do my lipsticks like this to where I scrape them out and I cu cut it out for a few reasons. Because I have a set of these containers for myself. For my own personal use. So, I chop up half of it and I put it in here for my, for my clients. And I have the other half that I keep for myself so I won't have 20 30 40 50 100 something odd tubes of lipstick all 
around. And they're all neatly labeled and ready to go. Any color that I'm looking for, it's like I'm not rummaging like I was just doing, going through the bag, going through a box, going through a bin. Like, where's this color? Where's this color? When you have it all organized like this, there they all are right there. And I see every last color this is. Show Orchid, Budding Love, Up the Amp, Rebel, Cyber. They're all right there. It's all labeled for you. So I also do this because for some of you ladies out there who may not know that MAC has a back to MAC program. And what that means is if you bring back six containers, and when I say six containers, they don't all have to be lipsticks. Anything that is recyclable that they can use, um, that they can refill again and use. I even have, hold on, I see something right here. I have this, um, what is this? A grease paint stick. They'll take this back because this is reusable. So once I get done with all of this in here, which, you know, I got quite a bit of it, but once I get done with all of that, that can be counted in my six to take back to Mac. If you have six lipstick containers, after you scrape them out, you can take those back. If you have, let's see, do I have any eyeshadows nearby? Yeah, eyeshadows. If you have any, if you have any of these, and it could be in any combination, like I just showed you three different items. Oops, I'm getting lipstick everywhere. Might want to put that down. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, look, even more product. Look, just got lipstick all on there. Uh -uh. But that's three products right there that I've just shown you that can be taken back to MAC. Um, lip glosses. Say you buy their uh, uh, brush cleaner, you can take that back. You buy a something for your skin, a moisturizer, a prep and prime, any of these containers can all be taken back. If you have six of those, you can take them back and it depends on what store you go to where you take back six items from MAC, they will give you a free another free lipstick. There are some stores that only do free lipsticks, and then there's actually a store that I go to, and they give me the choice of either getting a free lipstick, an eyeshadow, or a lip gloss. How awesome is that? So it's like you're just re you're investing in yourself, and then at the end when they're done, what would you do with them anyway? Throw them away. Why throw them away? But when well, you can um, get you another one for free. So. Um, that's, I just wanted to show you that really quick and quite honestly, that's all I do. I'm making a mess with this lipstick after I scraped it, but that's, that's all I do in terms of deep potting my lipstick. That's all I do right there. And like I said, it's still product in this tube that I will be scraping out momentarily. But this is what, this is all that I do in terms of my lipstick. You just get all that product out of there and put your stuff up. And then, like I said, one of the great things about it is these are interchangeable. So what I just did was this one, even though this one is for my clients and this one is for myself, or since this one has more, this one may be for my clients. Um, and I put them in the same one tube. I can take this one off and put it in my case, in my set. You know, so, you know, that's what I love about it. So that's what I like to do with these. Um, what I also love these for, and I'm just making such a mess here. I'm just trying to cover it up so I don't make any more of a mess. There we go. Just cover that up. Beauty Beats by Casey Ashton.